Hello, Bobcats and all the other OCPS teachers out there. Brad Schreffler here. Today we're going to be talking about how to actually use the swivel device in your classroom. At this point, I'm going to assume your iPad is set up and with all the software it needs and that you're ready to go on either BBB or Teams. The beginning part of this video is the same, and then it will switch into either the BBB version or the Teams version of how to actually run your conference. So I'm going to assume you've already put this black piece in place right here, so we're going to go ahead and start with that in mind. We're going to take out this little guy, and we're going to put it on the clip for it. So we're going to put it right here. And then we'll put that on. We're not going to mess with that for a little bit, but we'll put it on our neck so it's going to dangle right there. I would recommend if you're going to use the tripod, I would put this on the tripod first. Um, once you try to get the iPad onto this thing, it's going to be really hard to get the swivel rotated and onto the mount. So the easiest thing to do, you'll see that the bottom, there's a little screw hole. Screw goes right there. So we're going to go ahead and mount this guy. Spin it around, spin it around, spin it around, and it'll lock into place on there for us. All right, so now we need to get the actual iPad on here. So once this mount is on, we go ahead and put the iPad onto the device right there. And then this black clip, I'll raise this up just a little bit more for you. There we go. This black clip right here gets stretched and put on the top of the iPad case. This will make sure that this isn't going to move or have any issues with it. So we'll see it clipped right there on the top of the iPad case. So far, so good. Then we're also going to go ahead and have to plug this cable in, this short little cable. It's got the lightning adapter on one side, USB-C on the other. So the part that we want to look at is on the back. We're going to turn that around. This piece that's angled will go on the back. And then this piece will go into the iPad right here. Plug that into the iPad right there. Once it's connected, we'll go ahead and hold the power button down to turn this on. And then do the same thing on this device right here. Hold the power button down to turn this on. Give that just a second. It's figuring itself out. All right. Now at this point, depending on whether you're going to BBB or to Microsoft Teams, might be a little bit different. So if you're watching the BBB video, that will follow next. If you're watching the Teams video, that will follow next. So, so once we've connected the swivel, then when we turn the iPad on, the first thing we're going to see is if we want to allow access to the app. From here, we're going to sign in with Google. If you haven't signed in yet, then you'll need to sign in or else you'll need to go ahead and just click the account icon to be able to sign into your Swivel account. You'll just sign in with Google, firstname.lastname first at ocps.net, your usual password as normal. You'll type that in. And then once we get back to the Swivel website, we'll just say open this page in Swivel. We'll just click open. That will take us back to the Swivel app and have us logged in. Now we just hit the Microsoft Teams button because we're going to launch Microsoft Teams. It'll take a few seconds to configure and get everything working. And we'll click Open. And now we're going to sign in to our Microsoft account. Again, it is your firstname.lastname at ocps.net. We'll click that it is a corporate or an institution account. We'll click that it is a work or school account. We will log in one more time with our password. Let it process for a second. We will allow Teams to send notifications, allow it access to the microphone. Click next a few times until we get to the got it button. 
Now we're in our, our Apple app for Microsoft Teams. So we have access to that. You can see at the bottom, you have access to your Teams, your calendar, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So from here, we're pretty much gonna follow our normal process. We'll go to the Teams option on the app, which will show me all of my classes. And I have all of my class periods listed here. And then in the top right corner, there's the Start Video button, and we'll go ahead and click that. Then, if you'd like, you can turn on the blur camera. In this example, it doesn't do a great job simply because I was too close to it. And then we'll turn on that black puck, that black little receiver that came with the swivel. So it knows where I am. It does better if you're a little farther away, if you're not right on top of it. Also helps, I'm kind of thinking to leave it a little higher so it's tracking up top. There's a clip on this guy right here. So you can use that clip to bring it a little bit higher, and it should do a better job of tracking all the way at the top like that. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and blur background off, because that's annoying. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and turn the mic on and then it should be pulling up from here. And let's see. And now we're gonna go ahead and start meeting. So now at this point, the device will go ahead and follow me around as I move. So as I move left and right, then it's gonna go ahead and follow it. You can also adjust this height by using the back piece. So we can bring this up a little bit higher, bring it a little closer to my face. And again, if you're moving around the classroom with this in the middle of the room, this will work. I have it sitting at my desk right now, not able to necessarily access everything. So that's it. Now you follow your typical procedures for using Microsoft Teams. Hope that helped you guys out. As always, if you have any additional questions, you can reach out to me, bradley.shreffler at ocps.net. I'll be glad to help you guys out there. And I know you're going to do awesome things for and with your students this year.